so before beginning my second statement and discussing about the conclusion from the statement alone i will try to show you one picture which we have posted there in our um, blog so it's there on the theory one syllogism just go there and see so the last um, example which we have discussed was whenever we say if all a or b some b are not a is a possibility c here so you should once read this so you can find out there are certain um, exception from the tick cross method and basically they are going to um, react only when they are in the possibility case that's why the bank PO they ask you the possibility case so you don't need to worry that there are a thousand lot of exceptions it's not that it follows a, exactly a concrete pat pattern and then if you uh, just memorize few, few of them see how many are there one two three four five and then these are just normal theories so this will help you to uh, tackle so this is our statement sum a or b what it you, it should be cross cross generally it means that now let's see how many uh, conclusion will follow from this we'll put that all a or b so again if you see this one you can see here i have mentioned if sum a or b some a or b all a or b is a possibility now that is very true that you have to memorize certain again i have told you certain uh, two or three more exception to crack this possibility case so generally what should all a this tick cross it means so should mean this one but tick cross you cannot distribute this anyway so anyway it, it's not going to follow it concretely that is our rule but you can say it's a possibility now one more thing is even if this is there you can conclude what all uh, exact conclusion is there you can directly say some b r a some b r a that is a direct conclusion from this and seeing this you can write all b r a is a possibility that's why i have mentioned here if you see this part if some a r b you can also say all b r a is a possibility so if some a r b you can again say all a or b which i have shown you here and how you can tell that all b r a is a possibility that is also through here because you can reverse it and it's all the same it follow it concretely this follow this concretely and from here you can tell them basic it's like a little common sense and you can crack and tell this one so this one all a r b is a possibility it doesn't follow concretely doesn't follow but it's a possible case only when it's written possibility then only you will say it's true otherwise it's false now see the other one no a r b so can you include this from here what is no a a r b that is tick tick definitely no a r b is impossible that it cannot follow now let's take some a are not b will this follow now let's see by tick cross method some a r not b is cross tick so definitely you will say this will not follow perfect it won't follow but what is happening if you see here this part if you see here this part see some a r b then is a conclusion some a r not b is a possibility so also you should remember this some a r not b is a possibility and you can say some b r not a is all both thing i have mentioned there so you can see each and everything which is written here will come when we are discussing them so you can mark it down and already i have given you these exceptions so basically these are exception this will not follow concretely but a possibility case is possible and i have mentioned it there now let's take all b r a so what will this be tick cross so all b r a tell me is it possible so i have explained you again i think in the first part only that all b r a is a is is a possibility it's possible but as a conclusion if it's given just all b r a no it's not true but if it's given all b r a is a possibility it's true 
So this I mentioned earlier also. If you see this, whenever this video started, some all A or B. Now let's take no B R A. What will be this? Tick tick. No. Is there anything like that? Nothing. There is. You cannot distribute both of them. If you um. you distribute both of them that is not possible i've told you you cannot come from here to here so tick tick is not possible that's why it's impossible to do anything for this one so no b r a is impossible so sum b r not a tell me what will be this see i have uh, i have told you again in this video only earlier that yes when sum a r b some a r not b is possible some b r not a is possible so this is a possibility case generally it's not following uh, so it, if you it's just given in the question when some b r not a so you will mark wrong if it's mentioned that it's a possibility case you will mark tick and that if you want to refer you can see again here these are only some things you have to remember and that is given there so only some basic funda you can remember from all these uh, topics and this chart you can find it on our blog there is a syllogism text thing and you can memorize this and then i have am basically logic by step by step ex explaining you why this is not there why this is not there and possibility cases asked very frequently in sbip or maybe any other exam and maybe they can start asking you in even in mba exams because generally you don't see possibility things there so this is uh, entirely to cover the possibility parts and all so i have discussed this sum a or b wala part now let's see some other case thank you